After an unforgettable three weeks in the heart of Chamonix, it was time to pack up and hit the road for our next adventure. Destination, Slovenia. But before we got there, Venice threw us a nightmare that we'll never forget. And just five days after crossing the UTMB finish line, Sean faces another incredible challenge. Stay tuned. Well, this place is going to hold a special place in my heart, for sure. How do you feel leaving Tashi? Bittersweet. <laughs> this place set a bit of a high standard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we assume our accommodation is only going to get worse from here, but we don't know what's ahead of us. Yeah, absolutely incredible stay here. It is called Abri, Abri Valor. And um, yeah, it's amazing. There's a tunnel from France to Italy, Mont Blanc tunnel that got closed. It's closed three months for every year for the next 12 years because they found some asbestos on it. It's meant to be a four hour bus ride for us and then to come here to Venice. All that got thrown out the window because they shut the tunnel, which means now we have to fly to Geneva and then we no. just- Bus transfer to Geneva. Bus to Geneva, flew from Geneva to Venice. Yeah. And then we just got a boat and we are walking to our place. In Venice. In Venice. It's First, hot. It's hot. It's, it's 30 it's degrees hot. here. It's all cobblestone and this is our luggage. <laughs> so we're battling a little bit. But we're here. We're in Venice. Here we go. Eighteen islands linked by over four hundred bridges. <laughs> you need to say four hundred. Insane. Oh, it is. Actually Venice, Italy, has between three hundred and ninety-one to four hundred and thirty-five bridges. Holy shit! <laughs> Can't win them all. Mario's apartment, Venice, Italy. A night I will never forget. Very memorable. Give me a quick look around. It's the kitchen, which is actually pretty good. It's the best part. Bathroom. And the place we absolutely fried in last night it has an air conditioning unit that does not work. And the fan <laughs> just didn't feel like it was doing anything. Honestly, it feels like it's 30 degrees in this room and we just opened the window and it's so lovely outside. But if you open the window, the mosquitoes came in. Can we stay here again, Sean? No. No, I wouldn't. It's there, God. <laughs> been very lucky. Tasha's accidentally booked us on a, uh, a boat that was two hours early and if she didn't we would be stuck in this right now. Sure it doesn't look anywhere near as bad as what it is but just give you an idea what everyone's wearing. So thankfully we dodged that bullet but now we've got to try to find our bus to Slovenia. arrived in Slovenia, Ljubljana, other way around. We have arrived in Ljubljana, Slovenia. Got to our room in Art Hotel. And my goodness, is it different to the one that we just had in Venice. <laughs> Look at this. One aircon, two aircon. Ah! <laughs> We should give you some facts about Slovenia and these are probably ones that you can't really find written anywhere else but 
Slovenia is full of good looking people. That is a fact. True. Concur. 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 Lots of good looking Very people good in Slovenia. <laughs> yeah, slight insecurities walking the street at the moment, but <laughs> we'll see how we go. Hopefully our Aussie accents will get us through. It's the first time I've put makeup on <laughs> <laughs> in a month. This is actually uh, not too dissimilar to our Venice Airbnb. <laughs> two in Slovenia and we hired a car and made our way up to Lake Bled to prepare for Mount Triglav. Small change of plans, the weather is looking shocking this week and we have one window which is tomorrow to summit Triglav. So we've just come to altitude activities, we've rented our Via Ferrata and our helmets and we're actually going to try summit uh, in one day. So we're going to get up at maybe 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, drive to Krama, Krama, Valley, Krama, Valley, Krama Valley, and then do the summit and come back down in the same day because other than that, it's just rain expected. So yeah, next week. Yeah, so fingers crossed tomorrow when we get up there and it'll be a beautiful view and we snuck in the summit. Unfortunately, we've had to ca uh, cancel our refuges that we booked next yeah. week. We we've cancelled every refuge we booked. Yeah, never. Which is a bit frustrating, yeah. but that that's what happens in yeah. the mountains with the weather. But at least we're still going up Triglav. Nah. <laughs> I know you probably can't see much at the moment, but we got up at 3.40 this morning to start our summit on our way here. Did a quick Google. Turns out there's brown bears in Slovenia. <laughs> Highly unlikely to see one, but it did add a uh, element of Hurry. fear to it. So yeah, we're going to uh, start our summit now in the dark. See how long it takes us to get up there. does look like Yosemite. It's our first real peak where we're going up. <laughs> hey, feeling Tashi? Five point seven six kilometers. Yeah. Nine hundred and fifty-five meters elevation. So we're almost at a thousand in six k. Wow. We're having helmet issues because as I climbed up, it smacked me in the face. Cue B roll. Triglav is the highest mountain in Slovenia at 2,864 meters high. It's a national symbol even appearing on the Slovenian flag. This is mini Triglav. We've got the ridge line to walk and then one more up climb and then that's the summit. I've sort of a... Uh, hijacked a Slovenian tour they're here on a business trip this is the guide he's done it uh, lots of time so I've just stuck behind him in the whole time <laughs> So the saying goes that you aren't really Slovenian until you climb Triglav and get spanked. And Martin was nice enough to give me three spanks because I've climbed it. So, All right, time to descend.
Atashi's renowned for her downhills, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was ter terrible timing. <laughs> Tashi's renowned for her downhills, but unfortunately on this one she's taken a couple tumbles. <laughs> <laughs> fun ones though. Fun ones, very fun <laughs> ones. They were very entertaining. Just a little rock surfing gone wrong. <laughs> It's a really busy car park down here at the bottom of uh, Triglav and I just met a Slovenian then whose um, car was destroyed by cows and what the locals do is if you park like an idiot, if you don't park correctly, they come and they throw salt all over your car and then all of the wildlife, the sheep, the cows, everything like that, they come and they destroy your car trying to eat all the salt. The two cars next to us would, um, had cows and stuff bull horn scratches in him, but thankfully our car was okay. <laughs> All righty, bit of sightseeing today. We are out at potentially Vintka Gorge or Vintka Sateska Gorge, Gorge or Sateska Gorge. <laughs> we are uncertain yet, but we will let you know when we know. We parked about 10 minutes away, so we're just walking down to the gorge now. Get the angles. Gotta get the angles, yeah. Get the angles. Angles, yeah. We're in very silly moods, this is going to make for a very, very bad vlog. <laughs> making jokes about uh, them making us wear helmets, and then a massive rock fell from above and landed in the water. And uh, we've just picked up our pace. Now we want to get out of here quicker because that was, that hit someone and would have killed him. That was crazy. the second lake that we've been to this is called Lake Bohinska it's much bigger than Bled it's probably double the size and this is probably our favorite of the two a lot quieter we've just been for a swim you can rent a sup the water's crystal clear surrounded by beautiful lush trees I think uh, yeah out of the two this is the pick we hadn't heard about this before our Airbnb host told us that we had to come here and glad she told us about it it's amazing The next day, we did the 90 minute drive from Bled down to Postona Caves and Pradyama Castle. Although the initial lineup was a little daunting, it did not disappoint. Carved out by the Pifka River, this cave system is over 24 kilometers long and has been forming for over millions of years. cave 120 meters underground and we are going to send you a postcard these are dragons that live here they live for a hundred years and their skin is completely see-through so i figure you might think that's cool so this is coming your way from a cave in slovenia
We're not really a big group tour kind of people. We don't love them, but that was probably the best group tour I've been on. Yeah. It was really busy, like massive line to get in, but there was so much space in there and they were really carefree and you could just do your own thing. But Pestonia Cave is a must do in Slovenia. Mm -hmm. I reckon that was absolutely incredible. Pestonia Cave, and now we are going to the castle, which is called, do you remember? Predyama. Predyama, before cave. That was absolutely incredible. Well, we thought it was just that, but it goes so far into the into the mountain. And then there's a bunch of um, extra tours you can do down here to go explore through some underground caves and a must verified by Sean and Tash. Once our four days up in the mountains came to an end, we hopped on a bus and headed down south to Slovenia's coastal town, Peran. Pretty uh, adventurous bus ride from Ljubljana to where we are now, still in Slovenia. It's called Peran uh, on the Adriatic Sea. Absolute torrential rain. It was flooded at the bus stops. It was actually pretty wild. So crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it so, was proper bucketing when the bus drove in like two minutes before we got into town. And as he was parking, it just stopped. Yeah. That's our apartment up there. Here for the next four days. Now hopefully just a bit of downtime, but to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Started the camera, not really to say anything other than we love Slovenia, if we haven't said that already. Walking through Old Town now, we've just ducked in off the water because it's a bit windy. And it's just every little walkway so pretty it's really clean the slovenians are such nice people it's just incredible and that is our time done in slovenia we are leaving paran and heading to croatia which is there just waiting for our bus time done in Slovenia and it was absolutely incredible it was significantly better than what we thought it was gonna be and it won't be our last time here I don't think no all right see you in Croatia bye